Hey everybody, just uh, another little project that we just finished up here, mostly finished up, is our hybrid hot water heater. And we put this in a couple days ago on Saturday. Well, Saturday, now it's Wednesday. I've been really impressed with this thing. Uh, I did the install myself. The only thing I've got left to do is install a conduit for the power coming in and maybe clean up this condensation drain that goes out and connects in with our air conditioner. But I've really been impressed with this thing in the couple days that I've had it. I've got a video I'll make of how it works on the phone. But here you've got a little touch screen. It's off, there's no water coming out. Check your sensors, we've got it set at 125. So it's in the 120s. Maybe the temperature in the garage is saying 104. We're in Florida, I guess is right. Uh, evaporator temperature is 90.4 and the discharge is 101. That's because it's off. So it pulls the heat in. Hot air comes in here and it runs cold air out here. And what I'll do is crank this up. There we go, it's on, and there's some complaints that this was loud, but you can't even hear it. There's a little breeze coming out right here, but it's no louder than the refrigerator that it's sitting next to. The dryer is actually louder sitting right next to it but it's got some different modes you can go on vacation mode water heater off heat pump high demand electric um, we've been using our heat pump because it's just me and Allison here so we don't really use that much hot water and it's been real good um, service you can come in here there's phone numbers stuff like that you can see alarm history um, the thing that, that is for is down here is a water sensing cable that if it gets wet it will beep and send an alert to the phone so that's pretty cool uh, this thing has used almost no power since we put it in and uh, we're really excited about keeping our energy use down with this thing and um it's having power so what we might do is it can be ducted. I've got to get up here and clean this top piece up, uh, but we can duct the hot air where it pulls it in up to the attic and pull hot air out of the attic. And this comes in here. This stuff doesn't really cool off the garage because the garage door is open most of the times. Um, but it's a very cool little gadget here. We're really impressed with it. Um, I think it's used, we've had it in for four or five days now, and it's used less than a dollar worth of electricity. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see here, it's on low speed. Electric heat control is off, compressor relay is on. So, uh, might be hard to see. This is what I was trying to show you. It's stuck way behind there. This is the energy guide for this hot water heater. Estimated energy used yearly is $110. So it's very cool. So yeah, cool. I love technology. So this thing right up my alley. I installed it myself. It took a couple hours. Uh, one of the hardest things was removing the old one. And uh, I had to go to back to Lowe's to get a couple more shark bites because there were some extra plumbing stuff that I didn't see because it was behind our old hot water heater. But um, yeah, good. I wouldn't mind having the condensation drain, which is this guy here, go behind it now, but I put it right up against the wall so there's no room there. So it's gonna have to come out here and run through the front. So yeah, that's really cool. I'm excited about having a good hot water heater now. Uh, hot water heater, this is the 50 gallon one. My only complaint is that most hot water heaters, the hot water in and out is up here, power's up here, so everything's nice and easy right on top. This one has the cold water in, is down here, and you can see I've got a valve on it. And then up here, the hot water out, of course the condensation 
everything is here and the power is up here. So it'd be nice if they were a little closer together. I understand maybe they couldn't be. Um, but the install would have been a little bit cleaner. The only thing I don't like about this is the, the install. But it's got a little filter up here. I'm gonna pull out and clean from all the dust and stuff coming in through the, the uh, air intake up here. But yeah, very good, very easy. See PVC and these braided, um, braided hoses. So it's a little loose, so not that we get earthquakes here in Florida, but that's not ever gonna go anywhere. And we're gonna get a PVC for the drain. It goes down and connects in with our air conditioner drain. Everything's working good so far. All right, so it's been running for about five minutes. Hook it back up to 130 to get it on. And uh, exhaust air. says evaporator temperature 68.6 so it's blowing pretty chilly here it's like a little windy little mini window unit out here in the garage so it could we're not going to here but could duck that back into a small room for air conditioning but I think we are gonna tap in up here in the attic because it gets about a million degrees and a half up there so Four-ish, right out. Pretty cool. Again, it's not gonna really cool our garage because it stays open a lot. But if this was in a small room, it would keep that room cool for sure. All right, here's how the EcoNet app works. It is the Ream EcoNet, and loads up here. It's got a little accelerometer for the water level in there. You can tilt it around, kind of cheesy, but. Whee! So you can control your temperature right here on there with the up and down arrows. We've got it set at 125. Bump it up, bump it down. This is remotely, I'm at my office. This is the water heater at the house. Energy uses, you can see here for the day when it kicks on, quarter of a kilowatt this morning, in the 10 o'clock hour, or sorry, the two o'clock hour, and goes on and on. So that's not much here. Our, I think our energy is uh, nine cents per kilowatt hour or something like that. So for the month we've used 8.56 so far. So really less than a dollar. Pretty cool. We'll go for a year. Show you your year usage month over month. And it's got the heat pump mode. So you go down and change all the modes. Energy saver, heat pump, high demand. We leave it in heat pump. Energy saver would use the electrical elements every now and then, but the heat pump works fine for us. We haven't ever, and it's only been in for a few days, but we haven't haven't used all the water we need. High demands, if you have a bunch of people over or something like that, long showers, it'll use the electric elements, or you can just put it in electric only mode, where it just uses the 5,000 watts worth of heating elements. 